Hello, I'm Mrs. Edwards, and today we're going to discuss two systems of measuring angles, degrees and radians. So most people don't have too much trouble measuring in degrees, so our focus is going to be on radians and what is a radian. Many people just memorize a handful of angle measures in terms of radians and do that to get by, not really understanding what a radian is. For example, if we have an angle measure that is like a half a circle, 180 degrees, that's the same thing as an angle measure known as pi. So why is that pi? Well, let's start there. Radians, well, just that word radians, radians, radius. Ooh, yes, we're on to something. One radius. If I have one radius, if I were to pick that up, pretend for a moment that that's just a string, and I can lift that up and then lie it along the outside of the circle. Well, if I pick up that radius, and I lie it along the circle, that's how much of that circle's edge that one radius takes up. Let's repeat that process. We have one radius to there, that is two radii. Here's one more going in there, three radius, three radii, I is plural. Now, Three radii will not quite take us over to that half circle mark. We still have just a little bit left there. Now, how much is that little bit? Well, it's approximately one seventh of a radius. It's an irrational amount, so that is why the decimal goes on forever without a pattern but it's about 0.14 of a radius. So to get from right there, if we were to rotate that around to get to a half circle, the number of radii it would take to go that distance would be 3.14. So that is why an angle measure that is 3.14 really just means the number of radii you would need to lie around the outside of the circle edge to get to that location. The way radians work is just the angle measure is based on how many radii it takes to create that specific angle. So for example, right there, that angle measure is one radian. It happens to be slightly less than 60 degrees. If I go over another radius, then this angle measure here would be two radians, which is slightly less than 120 degrees. Going over a third radius, that angle measure that is nearly 180 degrees is three radians. Keep on going, right there, that angle measure is four radians, which is a little more than 225 degrees. There we have five radians, which is right there in between 270 and 300 degrees, happens to be a little bit more than 285 degrees. Okay, and then that giant angle there, we're, oops, we're almost full circle, right? So if we're almost full circle, then we are almost to two pi. We're almost to 6.28, that is six radians. Okay, so angle measures measured in radians, it's just how many radii does it take to create that angle measure? In the previous lesson, I showed you how to put on the memorized degree measures in radians. Um, they're at pi over three, pi over four, pi over six, pi over two, etc. 
But let's go ahead and do a quick comparison of degrees versus radians with some of those memorized angle measures. Okay, so right there we have an angle that is 60 degrees. Right? We rotate 60 degrees and we've got our angle. Pi over 3 is equivalent to 60 degrees. So thinking about your knowledge now of radians, pi divided by 3, 3.14-ish divided by 3, is a smidge more than 1, 1 1.047, etc. So that means to get there, it just takes a little bit more than 1 radius. So if I put that in there, there is just 1 radius, and notice pi over 3 is located slightly further than 1 radius. Hence, there we have our angle measure pi over 3. Let's take a look at another one. Here is 225 degrees. So we rotate that around until we get there. And there's our 225 degrees. 225 degrees is equivalent to 5 pi over 4. Well, let's put that in a, in a number form that is a little easier to think of. Grabbing your calculator and taking 5 times pi divided by 4, that is about 3.927. That decimal goes on forever, irrational number. Okay, but we're a smidge less than 4. So that just means that this angle measure is a little bit less than 4 radii. So one, two, three radius to get almost to a half circle. Go one more radius. And there we have, if so right there is four full radii, so we're a smidge less than that. So here we have five pi over four. Okay, lastly, just to make sure you have this down, 7 degrees versus 7 radians. If you have a, an angle measure of 7, it is really important that when you're dealing with angle measures that you pay very close attention whether or not there is a degree symbol or not. If there is a degree symbol, there's a big difference between 7 degrees and just an angle measure of 7 because that would be 7 radians. Um, a little bit of big picture knowledge. So your scientific calculators, they default to degree mode. Your graphing calculators default to radian mode. You always want to look at your calculator to see what mode you're in when you're working with trig functions and angle measures. If you're a physics student, well, you're likely working in degrees a lot. Then you go over to your calculus class and you've got to switch over to radians. Sad, sad story, like cry someone a river. Oh my goodness. I had a friend who took a, cal um, a calculus test in the wrong mode and they ended up failing the test. Oh, and they really did know how to do all of the process, all of the problems. And they kept thinking, oh my gosh, these numbers do not seem right. My answers, but I feel like I'm doing it right. Oh, mode. Oh, it's almost like a curse word. Mode! Please be careful of your mode. All right, so seven degrees would be a teeny tiny angle right there. Okay, so rotating over seven degrees, we're not even quite to that 15 degree mark. I always make my unit circles in 15 degree increments. Okay, seven radians means I want to go around seven radii to create my angle. So if I go around seven radians, then I have one, two, when we get to that half circle, we're just a smidge more than three radius, radii, and then I go another three, and we're almost to six. We need to go one more, so keep going, and we end up right there. So an angle measure of seven would start here, it would rotate around and around and a little bit more, and there we have our angle of seven. So be sure 
to look to see if you have a label of degrees. And it's frankly that simple. You're like, am I in degrees or am I in radians? Do you see a degree symbol? If you do not see a degree symbol, you know that you are in radians. Bonus video minutes. Um, so if you feel comfortable with what a radian is, then you can just shut me off. Um, if you don't, I just wanna make sure we cement this idea. I have drawn this kind of classic unit circle here. Um, I, in my previous video, I showed you how to put these numbers on without memorizing. But going with these numbers, let's just see if they make sense. Are they reasonable? So I'm starting by line one radius length along the arc. Let's get the decimal approximations to these angles. So pi divided by six, 3.14-ish divided by six is 0.52. And what is 0.52? 0.52 is a, is a little more than half. So look at the dot there at pi over six. See how it is about half of the radius? How about pi over four? 3.14 divided by four is about 0.79. So this dot here at pi over four is about three-fourths of a radius. And so notice we're about three-fourths of the way along that first radii, uh, radius. And then pi divided by three, pi divided by three is a little more than one, and notice that dot is a smidge further than one radius. If I put on another radius, there we go, Okay, and then pi over two, pi 3.14 divided by two is about 1.57. So that's a little more than one and a half. So notice that dot there at pi over two is one radius and a little more than a half of a radius. So we're at about 1.5 radii. Okay, then uh, maybe two pi over three, two times pi divided by three is a little bit more than two. So notice that the point at two pi over three is a smidge past two radii. You could continue doing this for any one of these um, to see if your, um, the location seems reasonable. You're just basing it on, if you go a half circle, it takes a little bit more than three radii to get there and then you go another half circle and we're to two pi and two times pi is 6.28, et cetera. Um, and so that's because it's a little bit more than six radii to get there. Okay, I hope you now know what measuring in radians means. Whoa!